Hello friends. In this particular video, we will be discussing about the concept of bitwise operator. How we can able to use bitwise operator in C programming language. So, first of all, what are the different bitwise operator exist in C? So you, here we can see that it is bitwise and. So it can be represented as and. This is bitwise or bitwise XOR, bitwise NOT and these two are bitwise SHIFT operator. All these operators are binary operators. Why binary? Because it is using both the operands A and B. So there are two operands in all sort of operator except this one. So this is considered to be binary type of operator. And when one another thing we need to keep in mind that whenever we are performing the operation, that operation is to be performed on binary equivalent of the operands. So what we mean by binary equivalent of the operands? We want to say that suppose I am writing 10 and 5. So this 10 and 5 both are decimal. But operation will not be performed on directly 10 and 5. It is to be performed on binary equivalent of this 10 and 5. How it is being done that we will be discussing during the example. So these are the different bitwise operators. Now we try to understand the concept of this example, uh, concept of bitwise and and bitwise or using the example. So here first of all it is bitwise and and or. So here we can say that since it is a binary type of operator, we have two operands, so operand 1 and operand 2. Now we know that in binary we have only two values, 0 or 1. So here, and means just to understand, we can say this is multiplication and or we can say that is equal to summation. So when the both the operands are 0, operand 1 and operand 2, both are 0, it returns me 0 in the case of n because 0 into 0 is 0. 0 plus 0 is 0. Operand 1 and operand 2, if it is 0 and 1 respectively, then 0 into 1 is 0 and 0 plus 1 is 1. Then operand 1 is 1, operand 2 is 0. So multiplication is 0 and summation is 1. So in the case of and operator when both the operands are 1 then only we can able to get 1 and in OR operator we will be getting 1 here since both the operands are 1. So this is just the truth table that how we can able to uh, manipulate this. Now we try to understand that how it works with an example. So what we are trying to do we are trying to understand the example of binary AND first of all. So you can see here that what we are trying to do, we are trying to perform the operation log, uh, bitwise AND operation on 5 and 12. So we will be getting answer equals to 4. How it is 4? So first of all, what we need to do, we need to convert both the operands into binary. Now binary of 5 is 1, 0, 1. Binary of 5 is 1, 0, 1. If you are not comfortable to convert a decimal number into binary and binary to decimal, the conversion is explained. The video is already there. I am sharing the link of that video in the description box. So if you are not comfortable with this conversion, then you are requested to go through that video first. Try to understand the conversion from decimal to binary and binary to decimal and then you can refer the same video for understanding the concept of bitwise operator. So binary of 5 is 101, binary of 12 is 1100, correct? Now bitwise AND operation, what we need to do? So we will be writing this, we will be writing the binary of 5, this is 101 and binary of 12 which is 1100. 0, 0. But see here there are 3 digits and here they, there are 4 digits. So we need to make it equal. Why? Because the operation, this logical, sorry, bitwise AND operation is to be performed on each bit 
each bit. So here we need a bit. So here it will be filled by zero. So if there is uh, non-similarity in the bits of both the operands, we need to make it similar by appending zeros on the left side. So now we have uh, same digits in both the or same bits in both the operands. Now operand one is one and operand two is zero. One zero. And this is logic. Uh, this is bitwise and okay. So one into zero is zero. Zero into zero zero. One into one one and zero into one zero. So this value we can achieve from this truth table, the operand value and the value of and. So this this truth table can be used to get it. So now we this is our final value which we have get as an output. But this is not the final output. This is the output in binary that is to be converted into decimal. Okay. So here you can see binary is to be converted into decimal. That is our step number three. So when you convert this number into decimal, it gives you four. So that your answer is four. So I hope you understood. So this is how we can able to perform the operation of bitwise. and now bitwise or it is almost similar step number 1 is to convert the decimal number into binary step number 2 is perform bitwise or operation only the thing which we need to do is we need to consider this particular truth table okay so let's see 1 and 0 it means we will be performing plus operation so 1 plus 0 is 1 Zero into zero plus zero is zero. One plus one is one, and zero plus one is one. So you will be getting one one zero zero as an output. Now convert this number into decimal, which gives you thirteen. So this is your final answer. So only the thing you need to keep in mind that your both the operands will be given in decimal. Operation is to be performed on binary. The operation is to be performed on each bit. and finally your answer will be there in binary but it is to be converted into decimal so this is how we can able to perform bitwise and and bitwise or operation okay now next comes bitwise xor only the change is there in the truth table rest of the things are same so if you look at that in the case of xor when two bit operands are same when two operands are same when you are giving same operands so you are getting zero see when the operands are not same then it returns one only this is the case so what we need to do this is a symbol for xor this is 5 and 12 convert it into binary put it here make it similar number of digits by adding zero now it is one zero means non similar bits So non-similar returns one. Zero and zero, both operands are same. It returns zero. One and one, both operands are same. It returns zero. Zero and one, both operands are not same. It returns one. So it is one double zero one, which is equivalent to nine. So steps remain same. That convert it into binary. Perform XOR operation using the truth table given here. Whatever the binary number you will be getting. convert it again into decimal so this is how you can able to uh, perform the operation on bitwise or so i hope you understood bitwise and bitwise or bitwise xor remaining bitwise operator that uh, left shift and so will be looking in the next video second part of this bitwise operator thank you for watching the video